It's 978 Dance. We're here live in Tomorrowland, Belgium. And joining us right now, we have Julian Jordan. How are you doing? All good. Just played at the stamped stage. I was going to say, man, thanks for coming here. I know getting here was uh, was interesting and you did the stamped stage and you killed it and you come in the studio straight afterwards. So massively appreciate it. How did it go? It went really good. Um, it was really, really nice to see um, the, the, the crowd at, at the stamp stage was yeah. so so big. It's and an I, amazing stage as well. I didn't know it was like the second main stage. Yeah, almost. yeah, yeah. it's huge. So we, um, yeah, like Brooks and I played together. Yeah, uh, we did a back-to-back -back session, and um, we both didn't know how the stage looked before. So yeah. we walked up there and we're like, "Wow, this wow. is crazy!" Yeah, and, um, yeah, we had a good time. Surprised yeah. on stage. Yeah, no, amazing. We we absolutely love Glitch. We play it a lot, but to the Thank wire you. is. They're, they're, for me, two different sounds, but the To The Wire sound just is a pure Dubai vibe completely. That's the type of music we're really going for right now. Nice. What inspired that track? Uh, Glitch or To The Wire? Uh, to The Wire. Uh, to The Wire was, um, so the thing is, I work together with a lot of like good songwriters yeah. and, and, and singers, and um, I love to do it as well. We work in the STEM studios a lot, and nice. we have great sessions with super talented people. Amazing. Um, so one day I got this vocal from uh, Jay Hart, a okay, really yeah, yeah, talented yeah. Uh, singer, and um, together with Chris Loco they made To The Wire, like yeah. the vocal. They sent it to me and I was at the Stamp Studios and I was like, okay, I need to make like the instrumental underneath this. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I don't want to make it too hard, like don't want to make it too... Because it's quite a soulful vocal. Yeah, you know, it's it got that kind of R and B spirit to it. Yeah, exactly, Miami vibe. And I was like, I, I, I want this to be for the people that want to party, but also that were driving in their cars or yeah. were sitting at home. You know, it has to have all those factors that you can just play it out. Yeah. Or that you can just play it out in your car and and and, and or, or the festival, or the club. So I was like, how can I do this? Because glitch is pretty. I mean, people will, will listen to it in their cars, but I was like, it's pretty party. It like, fits a high intensity moment yeah, in your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, how I'm, how I'm gonna put all these factors in one track? Um, and I tried to put all my signature sounds in one track, so vocal chops a little yeah. bit, um, melody, chords, and that's how it's a, it sounds amazing it's really good and the good thing about it like you say is it fits really well within a playlist of someone that it doesn't yeah. it's not something that interrupts a vibe you know it's just smooth and really nice and i'm presuming it's doing really well for you yeah I, I i love i actually love to keep it more organic as well so we went with the guitar player and, and um organ player yeah 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 and we actually had the best session ever like like super organic with real instruments and it was uh for me, it was a totally different session as well than to make a club track. Does that mean that there's, sorry man, does that mean that there's more of that type of sound coming from you? Yeah, yeah. there is. Um, I've been working with the, the same songwriter for uh, for the next one already and uh, it's looking really good already. It's so amazing. Looking yeah, I was going to say the same, yeah. yeah. Can we expect more of that kind of vibe yeah. from you? Right. Yeah, it's, it's something I focus on as well. I just want to make my own kind of signature sound and, and, and give it to the people. And I think that's a really, specific Julian Jordan type of track you can hear and uh, of course it's it's a little bit more um, focused on the on the mainstream stuff yeah. but I think with the right touch and the right sauce you can make it really interesting that's amazing everyone. we're gonna make it our track of the week next week as well so it's gonna be on heavy rotation all next week in Dubai half a million people in the country listening to it so that's amazing it's, it's a proper vibe man so no, thank it's you really really good we want to speak about the new YouTube channel yeah, we just we just read that you are planning to kind of give people an insight to your crazy life, and you're going to put it out on YouTube as your um, like a documentary. Is this coming from you? Is it something you're planning to do, just to document your life or studio sessions or? Well, the thing is, I always wanted to um, give the people a more specific view on my on my life. Yeah. Um, it's hard to because of Instagram. And, Facebook. Short little clips of everything. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you have to show the best of the best. Yeah. You know, to be honest, Instagram is a little fake for everyone yeah. because they only show the highlights of their lives and they only show the positive stuff. And of course, it's good to do that because people will believe that it's all good and all nice. But I think 
there's so much interesting stuff happening every day that yeah. people don't see, like conversations in the car, uh, conversations in the plane. Uh, These studio sessions, yeah. you know, when the, the, the kind of moments when you disagree, the moments when you agree, and then the outcome is beautiful, you know, that kind of thing, everyone wants to see it. Yeah, and, and I think people will get inspired by that as well, because mm. they really see the person behind the artist. Mm. And um, whenever they see me in front of a crowd, that's really Julian Jordan, and that's like the artist, yeah. But whenever they see me um, struggling with a production or like going out with friends or having fun, I think that's the real person behind it. And I want to show the people. It's brave. That. It's yeah. brave to do it because not many people want to do that. But I think the nice thing for all your fans is they'll feel that what you've achieved, they can try and, you know, they can go through the stresses and get there. Yeah. And for me, yeah, we, we've we actually, one thing we noticed, we've done quite a bit of recording in, in Japan in the Red Bull Studios and we saw the little short clips of you went to Japan recently. Yeah, right? I just went there. Yeah. And that, for example, you can't summarize Japan in one clip because it's, it's mind blowing. It's impossible. It's yeah. uh, not not even in one clip, but also yeah. not in one day. You know? no, I, went, I was there for two days. It was too short to even oh, yeah. Yeah, see anything. Uh, we want to go back to the Olympics next year. I, I yeah. want to go real real quick. I want to have the like like seven days over there because it's so so interesting and the, the art, the the fashion, the music, everything is so next level over there. It, so Asia is a part of the world that you go to a lot. Yeah. But, but again, with the with your life, it's like little bits. But absorbing the culture must be amazing from all all around the world. Yeah, I think I don't really see a lot of the countries I go to. Um, so it's hard to say if I like a country or not, because um, whenever I fly to like China, I'm there for, for, for less than 12 hours. Plane, hotel, car, stage. Yeah, I just yeah, see yeah. that. So um, I love to have like a day extra or like a few days extra to explore a little bit, to get motivated, like inspired by the different mm. cultures. And I had that in Japan. I was lucky to have one day extra. That's it, it's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and the good thing about now doing the YouTube channel is you can say I'm staying because I'm doing content and it's working. And yeah, you have, yeah, you have an excuse to, like, <laughs> to book more than one day, you know, you say, no, I need two days to, to yeah, exactly. really see the place. And then when you go back home, I want to talk a little bit about ADE. You're doing your own show at ADE, right? Yes. We're, we're going this year, so we're excited to see what you're up to. You guys are more than welcome to join, by the way. Yeah, it, 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 what, what are you up to? What's exactly happening? And thank you. Um, yeah, we are almost at the point of um, announcing the thing, so we, okay. I can't say uh, a lot. Okay, okay, sweat that off. <laughs> Julian, Jordan, Julian Jordan and friends, like we did Amazing. every year. Um, it's one of the highlights of the week, I think, for a lot of people. Uh, for me, it is the biggest highlight, of course, but um, just all my friends come by and all my DJ friends and... Um, yeah, it's just... It's a uh, vibe, it's, it's back home and it's, yeah. it's, it's proper kind of amazing. The thing is, we travel all around the world, different countries, different festivals, seeing different promoters, different fans. And the nice thing about ADE is that you can actually show all those people yeah. your own town, your own vibe and your own like uh, friends, fan yeah. bases. This is where I'm at, come yeah. and celebrate with me. Exactly, so yeah, that's that's the great thing about ADE. And Stamp Records as well feels like a bit of a family. Well, it is a family. It is, So, yeah. so that's another nice reason to get back together again because you've all got so hectic schedules, right? Yeah, the, 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 the Stamp family is is amazing. I just can't say we, we are working with all those people for a long time, all the artists. We were, like, we just had an interview with, with, with CMCS yeah. and um, Martin Garrix. We were in, in the same class together. Like, it's crazy. Can you imagine like three guys on Tomorrowland right now being in the same music school together? I wish I had friends like that. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> imagine no, no offense. I, mean, yeah, no, no, I can imagine your school teacher would have never believed it. I mean, it's like... No, it's... it's um, to be honest, the school teachers were also super, super great. They're not on the other stages, are they? No, <laughs> like, they're what, not. What's this they're school? Not. <laughs> they're not. But um, I have to say, I, I learned a lot from that school and it's, it's crazy to see the um, the success from one classroom worldwide right now on a, on a festival like Tomorrowland it's it's almost impossible <laughs> it's amazing look yeah. thank you so much Julian it's been an absolute pleasure we will take you up on ADE and we wish you all the best of success and we can't wait to see the channel thank you so much amazing thanks very much.